moving on to element number two, and that is contact history and the like. So that's stuff like phone calls and messages that were left, meetings that you had had with somebody, uh, any activities that you have, sales related information, documents, this type of information along with other important information is important to understanding how a contact has been served or touched by you or your company. Now I'm going to go ahead and switch over to uh, the act install that I have here that I just had up and show you that very tab. So it's a tab that has a lot of history information and you can see here this was a meeting that was held and the date and time and who it was with and maybe a contact was updated it would record any changes that occurred to a contact maybe they maybe an individual uh, in the database like Chris Hussman deleted a contact maybe not as relevant as looking at a customer with a meeting held uh, information that was gathered about a customer um, that type of information is important you need to be able to track this type of history you can just record a history and identify what it was that you did and what the outcome was what it might have been regarding and put that history information down here and hit OK and it would save the information so you can see that is reflected here and is updated for get the order so another example of how a contact manager should track uh, all that type of history information um, it also includes uh, documents you know there are documents and activities that are important to track with that additional detail go ahead and switch back over to the act system here and you switch over to the activities tab and you'll see activities for a given contact are, are recorded here and these are ones that have not yet been cleared and are are set to occur perhaps sometime in the future um, next information uh, I mentioned documents documents are also important any invoices or uh, Excel spreadsheets anything that you can attach uh, to your Windows uh, sys file system can be attached to the ACT database as either a shortcut or a document itself. Let's see, make sure that I cover the rest of the items that are listed here. Sales related information. This one, this is when we get into sales opportunities, and you'll see that here in the opportunities view, there are opportunities that are listed for a contact. We're going to switch over to one that has opportunities here. Okay, so you see this contact, Jonathan Jenkins, has these opportunities that are associated with them. Uh, and, you know, you can see that this one was closed in one. Uh, you can double click and it'll take you to the opportunity uh, in more detail and, and give you additional information. Understand the process, the stage, and uh, what products or services that they're interested in, etc., etc. Again, these are important details that would be associated with the contact, Jonathan Jenkins and is really important for any uh, contact manager to be able to track this type of information because when it comes right down to it the relationships are valuable because they're valuable for your business as well as it is, is for the customer or prospects business therefore it should be profitable and other information I'm not going to dive into the details of ACT for the other information but I think you get the idea it's important to identify uh, a contact manager and that leverages contact history, activities, sales related information, documents, etc., and puts that on the contact uh, view so that you can find that information very quickly. Well, let's move on to element number three.